today's video we are in Istanbul. Istanbul is not the capital but it is the largest city in Turkey. It is rich in history, it has beautiful culture, lovely people, delicious food. We visit the bazaar, some very beautiful mosques and explore the city. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed exploring the city of Istanbul. I'm really enjoying like the whole atmosphere here. I'm just gonna like have a wander around, go down to the coastal area, watch the sunset. There's some wild dogs. I'm at Starbucks. But like you can see like the like a view of like the river. Got um an iced white chocolate mocha bande and it's actually really good. I'm sitting by the water. I don't know if you can hear me, but it's so peaceful. And it's so beautiful. You can see the waves, the birds, the people. my feet i just wish that you guys could see this view through my eyes the smell of the water and the ambient sound of the birds going rawr, rawr. i'm at this cafe i'm watching the sunset i'm definitely definitely coming back here early in starbucks my UK app glitched and you know what? Like it somehow made my drink duplicate. I'm really glad that like I came out today. You we all came out together. And I'm like by the shore of a town. I haven't been to the main cities yet, but like I've been going to like these really beautiful areas and places. <laughs> Turkish people are so nice. The taxi guy is named Jonas. I was like, we were driving by the water, and I was like, oh wow, so beautiful. There was like this place with the better view, and he he was he showed me that. And he took, took that I'm gonna insert the pictures right here. I don't even know if they're nice or not. Within a few days of being in a new city, a new town, a new country, my first thoughts are always I genuinely, I want to live here, I want to live here and stay here for the entirety of my life. I'm at this place called burger cafe and i'm actually i'm not getting a burger i'm getting an ice latte of some sort i can't stop smiling and i think it's like <laughs> i think it's like all the worries of the uk like leaving my body the fact that there's just cute cats everywhere what a cute and beautiful city, honestly. Can you see over here, there's some steps going all the way up. If you want to get really, really like healthy, just move here because you'll be walking all the time and there's so many hills. I'm just going to walk into this park. It's almost like being in a dog park, like the amount of dogs that are here. Like there's two over there, there's some over there, over there. These are probably just like somebody's home, but look. I'm in a reading cafe. Look how beautiful the view from here. Oh, look at these cute little children's stalls. Look at the view from the window. <laughs> Not me hanging out the window. So guys, um, super aesthetic. I'm like just enjoying like how cute it is in here. I've made some friends and they're gonna help me get on board the bus. <laughs> I'm really excited for this 
So I met these lovely people and I asked them for directions. And then they actually helped me get on the bus and like waited for the bus to come to make sure I got on the right one. And I thought that was just so lovely and sweet. Kulele. Kulele. Can you guys focus on me, please? I have something. <laughs> I have something really important to say. Apparently, the only way to get up to where I'm going, the best way is to walk. They have so much like fresh seafood here. It's by the water. It's called Dennis Yil Dizzy. I don't think this is safe to walk down it. But <gasps> wow, so beautiful. Who's gonna save me if I fall in the water? Nobody. Is this road okay for walking? Tell me, it's okay. <laughs> it's just going to sunset now. Istanbul is a dream. Right now, if you're watching this video, it's your sign to take a little, little trip to Istanbul. How gorgeous. Oh, look, views from the bridge. I've done a bit of a 360. I don't know where I was before. I think I was on the other side of it. Flag. This is so funny. <laughs> anyway, in my diary of learning Turkish, today I have learned the word nasıl, which means how are you, and to say good, to say im. I'm Raima. Raima is going to make me popular. I'm Chef Vicky Aru at Yakabos. alone in a restaurant watching the sunset by the sea I'm giving myself mysterious big vibes to go inside and take a look around I'm annoyed I'm not upset that I got basically scammed I'm trying to get a sim card I only know one word and that is tamam, which means I think it means like okay the guy that I bought my sim card off he said I have 25 gigabytes but he's just disconnected my sim and I'm not gonna lie it's kind of really really irritated me i need my phone to get around i can't believe someone would be so evil but anyway alhamdulillah says, look how beautiful this view is the palace is in there and then you have to walk up to the palace at first i thought it was just the front bit i, I was like wait that's underwhelming we can kind of go inside and it's like really really um beautiful to look around I'm just waiting for a taxi. It's like a taxi station here, and then I'm waiting for my taxi over there. And look how cute this masjid is. Is it not so adorable? Just can't get over the architecture. Oh, <gasps> 
Wow, this mosque is so pretty. It's comprised of a mosque, library, children's school, madrasa, public fountains and dervish lodge. As I was walking to the square, I came across a lot of unique mosque complexes, as well as just furniture stores, some of which they actually made the furniture within the store, which was so interesting to watch. the women's section is just up these stairs. How beautiful. So Istanbul is built on seven hills. It's known as the city of seven hills. And believe me, we've really got our steps in. Basically, I'm at a carpet shop where they actually make the carpets. Isn't that cool? We're visiting Sultan Ahmed Mosque, which is also known as the Blue Mosque. It gets its name from the painted tiles on the inside, which are turquoise with roses, trees, and fruits. And also the upper levels are painted blue as well. Hay un nicho en la pared que está en el fondo. Ese nicho indica la dirección. Currently walking through the masjid. It's just so grand. Everything about being here is so surreal. from here oh. ah. why am i getting nervous oh. are they not coming at last we have one. Oh. <laughs> so we then visited Hagia Sophia, which actually began its life as a church before becoming a mosque for 500 years. It was then converted into a museum and then back into a church it welcomes visitors from all religions and is a very popular tourist attraction <laughs> enjoying my ice cream thank you oh <laughs> This is a really good pistachio ice cream. I'm gonna have these well, every day from now on. Even though I have no idea where I'm going, we're gonna have we're gonna have a good time. My SIM card got locked up again. I'm not sure what is going on with the SIM cards I'm getting. I went to like the actual Vodafone store to get a SIM card, and it's not working now. So I'm like lost and stranded. To Karakoy. Karakoy boat. Boat. Get a yeah. link boat. Uh, it rained for about 30 seconds. This is an interesting experience. Okay. 
going around with my contactless very well like most places accept contactless now i'm gonna try and find my way home morning ladies and gents today we are taking the scenic route and we're going to take the boat for 20 minutes from Karakoi to Emunu and I definitely said that wrong this is the boat we're taking today ladies and gentlemen do you want to sit downstairs no definitely upstairs up we go <laughs> Aside from boat tours, it's a really enjoyable experience using boats for the sake of transport. This is a really good way to go around. It's super relaxing. Usually they have quite a lot of seats inside and it's quite spacious and you get such a gorgeous ocean view. I'm the captain now. The next bus was in 10 minutes. It's only like a 19 minute walk. And I feel like I can do it even this midday. The sun is at its peak. I might pass out. So cute, there's people fishing here. I'm so glad I decided to take the scenic route because how pretty is the view? People love to fish here. <laughs> if I was here a little bit longer, I might be picking up a hobby. Yeah, this is so steep and there's even more to go. So, we're still climbing. We still have a way to go. I cannot breathe. I cannot breathe. And we're still going. Oh, Galata Tower starting to appear. So many cute cafes, beautiful outdoor vibes. I can say it is worth the hike. I was kind of worried it was a hike. Not in a bad way, but I usually set my expectations low. So my expectations are met, you know, because the only way is up. And this latte is also really good. Make sure you get the cheesecake and you get the last hair. All the birds swimming around the tower is so cute. This is such a cute area to explore.
the tram out for a spin. Hello. <laughs> Hi, thank you. Uh, Somalia. Somalia. Yeah. Very good. Nice to meet you. This is the train we took. Now we have arrived at Taksim Square. It's actually walking distance from where we just were, but if you want to be a little extra, you can use your metro card to get on the tram. It's a beautiful mosque here. There's a lot of shops, restaurants, street food. You know that I'm gonna move here. Okay, so now I know the next train is coming in three minutes. You wanna have a look, see? Okay. Wow, this is amazing. Hello. You know the wudu area, this is what I love. Inside of the masjid. Look where the wudu area is. It's inside, it's indoors. Shoes off. We're trying to find a taxi driver that fears God and we've been told 400 liras because they're trying to where are the taxi drivers that fear God because I've had some really good taxi drivers but in this area mm -mm, it's peak Let's try this guy let's see if he fears God Balat? these streets are so crazy right now we're near the we're near the Grand Bazaar but like just outside of it and like all these shops we could not get a taxi so we're using that as a sign to go to Hafiz Mustafa <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so nice in here. It smells so good. The ambiance in here, 10 out of 10. Ah, <laughs> thank you. for its colorful houses we actually visited in the evening but if you visit in the daytime Whoa, you can see the slopes how and how beautifully the buildings are lined up honestly it's really cute at night as well and places were open quite late so it was a really lovely experience i hope that you all enjoyed this vlog thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video Bye.